it's me, and I'm here with a new haircut! I am obsessed. Um, my mom did it, and I'm really happy with it, so thank you, Mom! Anyway, after showing that off, I have some packages to open. Woo! Today is February 5th. It is 9 o'clock at night, so if I start crashing, I apologize. But I literally have been trying to clear my laptop's memory space for ages, for hours today. Because it was telling me I didn't have room to film. And I got this hours ago. So, you know. Oh, it's in a toilet paper roll. So this is an eBay package. This is a set of um, dolly parts that I've been wanting for a really long time. I've been looking for them. And actually, this is really clever. They just kind of pinched the toilet paper roll so that this wouldn't come flying out on both sides. It's like genius. Uh-oh. Except the eyes kind of got crushed in transit. So now I'm afraid. I am extremely afraid something got scratched. Oh, please, please, please. This one looks okay. Ooh, this one's got a crack in it. At least I think that's a crack. Alright. They look fine. I may message the Etsy seller about this particular eye though. Because of the condition it's in and because of the fact that they literally came apart in transit. But if you can't tell, I got a pair of Felicity eyes for a custom that I've been working on and this is going to complete her. And I'm so super excited about it. Um... It's going to be incredible to finally have her done. So, I got a set of eyes. We'll have to see about this, you guys. I don't want to go putting them in her head and then have something hor go horrifically wrong. And then I have another package that came. Is there like an actual label? There is. This is from the eBay seller Lovebug, as you can see. And Lovebug sells everything. Like I would I'm not even gonna attempt to sugarcoat it. They literally sell everything. Um and I just picked a couple things up. It's kind of a funny story. <laughs> I was getting something for a friend, and um, I ended up having to get some stuff for myself, too. That's how it always goes, though, right? <laughs> so I just have to make sure that the things that I got for my friend are not shown on camera, and you guys can see the rest of it, because I don't want my friend to somehow see this. It's a surprise. Um, take it for your purchase, blah, 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 blah. If you have a problem, blah, blah, blah. Okay, thank you. All right, so I'm going to put my scissors away because I'm done with them now. All right, so I guess this is what I'm going to do. I got four pairs of shoes and a shirt. So... I'll do the shirt last. I'll do this first. So I got this pair of boy doll shoes. I got two pairs of boy doll shoes and two pairs of girl doll shoes. So I spoiled everybody. Oh, I love these. Okay, so you get two, obviously. They're black and they have a Velcro. And that's how you get them on and off the doll. 
and they're kind of they kind of have like a canvasy material and this, this is rubber on the side here it's very rubbery but the bottom is foam so you have to be careful with these I really like these these are really nice and they're gonna go with a lot with the boys I guess I'll open the other boy pair of shoes I got these because I think that they will go really nicely with a lot of different things and um, they'll go with the shirt that I got actually. That's part of why I got them too. So obviously you get to, whoopsie, wrong way, you get to and they are navy blue vans basically. So the shoe is made of a canvasy material and there is white elastic on the inside of the shoe that allows you to slip your doll's foot in. And there is a little bit of a heel design here and I really like that it is etched out. The edges are kind of lined with like a pleather, a white pleather. You guys can't really tell but it is. And then the bottom is white foam. So again, be careful. These shoes are not made for quality. Um, like in fact, the inside of the shoes have seams in the pleather. So, and I think it was this way with the rubber mm -hmm, on these shoes as well. So they're not necessarily made for quality as for look for cheapness I don't know but anyway so this is the pair of, first pair of girl shoes that I got I am trying and failing to open this ziplock bag okay there we go took way too long all right so I got these for mini Ashley to um match my real life Uggs I'll insert a picture like right here in the frame because I figured out how to do that um and this is the dolly result this is as close as I could come from what I could find so I got these Sophia boots and I remember seeing these before and thinking they were cheap looking and to be honest I still kind of do but not as much as I did in the past so they are silver and they got little shiny dots on them and it's kind of made out of that cheap material that's kind of rough and snags a lot so I'm gonna have to be careful with these the back has like a white pleather heel so it kind of reminds me of Uggs and the bottom is a foam a tan foam bottom which ironically my Uggs are also tan foam bottoms, as you'll see right here. Um, if I can find a picture, hopefully I can. Um, so it's really cool that I was kind of able to find, oh my god, and these are like lined with like, um, it's like cotton. It's not anything nice, but it's literally lined. Do you guys, oh my god. There's tissue paper in the sh oh my god in the toe that's so epic I love it I love it I love it is it in any of the other shoes no just this pair oh my god I love it though there is velcro on the side to help you get the sh the boot on and off easily it is not no snag so if you do get these you have to be careful but here's like a better glimpse of the lining and the material oh my goodness there you go do this with every shoe so far anyway there we go okay this is the last pair of shoes I got and all of those other shoes have been on my radar for a while now, and I kind of just picked them up. These shoes, I was, like, scrolling through her shop to see what she had. Um, and, 
these popped up and I loved them so of course I picked them up and these are much better quality than the other shoes. I'm gonna say that right off the bat I can already tell just by the look and by the feel. So you get two sandals obviously. They are a camel color and I'm gonna move the strap for a second so you guys can see there is a braided bit where the feet go so you I mean where the toes go so you have kind of like a braided bit around the toe and then this piece goes behind the heel like that and there's a buckle as you can see and this strap goes around the ankle and into the buckle like this. So the shoe is like this. And it's so trendy and so classic and I just really love this. And the sole is more of a rubber than, than um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not felt, foam. Thank you, brain. So I really like it. It's very thin, as you can see. But as you can also see, sorry, the hiccups now. The quality is much nicer than what we've seen. The fabric that has been used, minus the boots, has been really nice on the boys' shoes. The canvas is really nice quality on both pairs. It's just the foam sole just kills it for me it plummets the quality way, way down. And I mean, I only paid like, give or take like five, six, no, yeah, about five or six bucks each for each pair of shoes. So I'm not expecting incredible quality, but at the same time, I wish. And that leaves me with this. So they had like two flannels and I didn't want to spend too, too much money. So I narrowed it down to this one. I did have both in my cart. I just picked this one. Because this looked more classic and everything. And I'm not expecting super incredible quality. This is really nice though. My phone is buzzing and it startled me. It's still buzzing. Who's blowing me up? Oh, it's Mia's group DM. Mia's Instagram account, you guys. It's at Mia Isis underscore. We know Mia underscore Isis 13. Sorry. But anyway, here's the shirt. This is so cute. I really wish I'd gotten another one of this one of these um because like this is just awesome there's something stuck to it okay there is some minor unraveling in the back stitch so I'm going to fix it snip where's the other piece here it is. Snip. Oh wait, that did not snip. Snip. Come on. Thank you. Okay. I love my new nightstand. It's the best thing ever. It's a mess. But anyway. So here's the shirt. It is white and it is red and navy plaid and I do believe I see some mustard in here as well so very faint though in there see the mustard like here is like a close-up of the pattern it's really nice and the material is like a thin cotton I'm gonna say and it's not extremely rough it's it's not soft but it's not rough it's kind of like in the middle where you're kind of uncertain um as to whether it's like soft or not it's got two little pockets in the front let's see are they real or are they fake oh my god I think they're real are they real 
They're real, ladies and gentlemen. So the pockets are real. You can actually stick tiny things into them if you wish. They're mostly just for decor, though, if we're going to be real here. But if you wanted to, you could. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to tuck this excess back in there so that the pocket doesn't bulge open. There we go. So these are, I think they're both real. Yes, both pockets are real. And then we have white buttons. And they're kind of like that see-through iridescent kind of button. Just a basic circle. And there's three. And it's a button down. And then there's a nice little collar. It's really nice. Here's the back. Like, they actually have nice back stitching, too. Like, I love this. And then it opens with Velcro from the front. And then you can just, oopsie, put it on your doll. I'm really excited to try this on because I've been wanting to get some flannels for my boys because I love the look of boys in button-ups and flannels. So this was like, uh, oh my goodness, I have to have this kind of thing because it was only like $5. So I bought it. And I'm glad I did because it's actually really nice in quality. And I wasn't expecting it to be, but it was. So... I definitely recommend Love Bug Shop. Um, I would, I am going to warn you guys about the shoes, like I said. The soles are iffy. Like, I think this boot's already got some, you know, damage to the bottom. Because it's roughed the touch, whereas the rest of it's smooth. But in certain places, it's rough. So... You have to be careful. You see, this boot doesn't have it. So you have to be careful that, you know, the if you do, oopsie, if you do get these shoes, um, that, you know, you're aware that they're going to be foam bottoms and they're not going to be as tolerable of certain things in comparison to, you know, things with plastic or rubber soles so that's just the warning um but I mean for the price I'd say they're worth it I mean my boys always need shoes these are really nice and this is going to give them a nice boost to their shoe collection and that shirt is going to give them a nice boost to their shirt collection because they need button-ups and Nice things. They they need everything, really. The boys are so under under loved in my collection. I need to pay more attention to them. But anyway, um, I helped them a bit. I helped Minnie Ashley a bit, and um, the girls also got a free pair of sandals out of it. So I think everybody wins in this case scenario. Um, I don't know if there is going to be. More well, there is going to be more parts to this because I actually ordered a tiny package from AGE after having like a ten dollar rewards coupon, so I kind of did a little bit more damage. But after that, um, I'm also expecting the Etsy seller from last month to make me my set laundry set that I actually wanted. So I don't know if that's going to come this month. Um, or if it's going to come next month, I don't know when it's going to show up. So, depending on when it shows up, you know, we'll see. And it may end up in this video, may end up in a different one. And outside of that, I don't believe that there is going to be anything that is going to be opened. Um, so, yes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Definitely tell me what your favorite item was. Um, honestly, I think mine was the Felicity Eyes, even though I'm really nervous that they're broken. Um, I've been looking for them for a very long time, and they're going to finish a custom that's going to be really incredible, so I'm really excited about that. But anyway, thanks, you guys. I love you. See you next time. It's me. 
And I got another package today. It's from American Girl. I'm so excited. So let's get into opening it. Alright, since I got a couple things for my friend that I am surprising, I'm not going to show everything that came in this box, but I'll show you guys the stuff that came for me. This has special credit towards American Girl Magazine. I don't know, I like the envelope though. And it appears I got a new magazine. The cover says, thank you for welcoming the world of American Girl into your home. We're proud to partner with you in inspiring girls to stand up, stand out, and stand strong. Hope, what are you doing? And then when you open it up, there's the original thing, cover. So, I don't think they've changed anything in this in comparison to the last one. That I didn't even look through, so I don't know why I'm trying to find a reference. But anyway, I got two things. These were on sale again, this time for $4, so I had to get another one. So this is going to be the last one I'm going to get for now. Um, it's the tights and leggings set. It originally retails for $12, but it was on sale for 4 so you can never have too many jeggings, and that's why I kind of snatched it up. So, the first thing that came out were the tights, and even though they appear pink on the site, they are lavender. So, um, I mean, like I said before, I do wish that they were actually pink instead of lavender. Um, because, you know, I have a lot more pink things because AG is always releasing pink. So they kind of go with the pink things. But um, for $4, I won't complain that they're lavender. But they're basic lavender. And then there's a really pretty lace hem on the top. And it's just elastic waist. And um, I actually currently have Sonali wearing these. So they're a nice pair of tights. And then the last thing that comes with it are the jeggings, and that's the main reason I got it. $4 for jeggings are a no-brainer. So here they are. They're capri-length jegging. You could pair them with boots. You could pair them with sandals. You could pair them with sneakers. They're really incredible, and they are very versatile, and you can do anything with them. They have an elastic waistband. There's no Velcro on these, and they are really soft, stretchy, jegging material. They are really pretty blue, and there is a little plastic American Girl medallion on the end that you can easily cut off if you don't want it there. Mine are a little bent on the end, so I'm going to have to put them on somebody and hope that crease comes out. And the last thing I got was something that I've wanted for a while now. And it's Z Yang's filming accessories. So her filming accessories were on sale for $16. Yeah, for $16. And I had a $10 AG Rewards coupon. So this was only 6 bucks. So I'm really excited. I couldn't pass it up. Here's what the front looks like, and then here's the back. It says lights, camera, action. Z totes all of her camera gear in her backpack. It's a Z Yang up here, and it's really cute how they made like a little recording thing here because it's kind of like they're recording this like I am. So I had to have this. Every AG idea or AG tuber has to have this set. It's a no-brainer. AG was really on the money when they made a vlogger slash youtuber slash vlogger like every like this is just perfect so let's open this and take a look I also forgot to mention that it does originally retail for $28 so since I paid six I got a huge steal
everything open. So let's take a look at what we've got here. I'm gonna pick up what I grabbed first. So the first thing I grabbed was the camcorder and this is just incredible. This is the first time I've ever seen this in person, so it's actually kind of amazing. There's an elastic on the side that allows you to all hold it, and it is much stretchier than and more flexible than the um, coffee cups elastic, so I'm really happy about that. Um, hopefully that will allow us to actually have more um, flexibility when it comes to the doll holding this. The lens is right here, and it's a clear plastic. Um, I don't know why it's like the plastic's kind of fitted together like that. It doesn't make it look particularly nice. So, I mean, I wish it wasn't like that, but whatever. There's a, it's just solid black on the bottom. On the top, there is a little switch. I think that's like the zoom in and zoom out. I haven't seen a camcorder like this in a long time, so I have no idea. And this is the red button, so I'm assuming this is a record button. It says American Girl on this side, and when you open it up, there's a little screen in here. And it's so cute. When you open it up this way, it has American Girl flashing you. Does this turn? No. Okay, I'm not going to risk. Oh, there's some buttons here. So there's like a little bit of a control panel. I'm trying to let you guys see it. And it's not really showing up. There's two little oval buttons here. There's like a little play button here. And then there's, oh, there we go. And then there's a dial here and a little button in the middle. Then what happens is you pull this open and you can stick one of the insertion things in here and then you actually have like a picture. So I'll have to try that out once I'm done reviewing everything. The next thing I'm going to do is the camera. So, excuse me. A lot of AGTubers and AGIGers have DSLRs. So this is a great thing to have again for when you're, you know, an aspiring video videographer that doesn't sound right videographer that sounds more like that sounds more legit you guys know what I'm talking about so here is the nozzle um the plastic sounds kind of loose and you know what the plastic in these pieces is not of the best quality so I'm really glad that I got mine at a cheaper price the strap looks like this it's basically a ribbon and it's actually incredibly soft and there is stitching here where they had the slit. And on the camera, there is a little hole like Leah's. So then you can just pull it on like that. And boom. This is already fraying. Do you guys see that? What the heck? I literally just opened this. You guys saw it. How it's messing up already is... Uh, uh, uh. It's doing it on this one too, and I hadn't even removed it until just now. But you can stick it on here, and your doll can use these to hold the camera. On the back of the camera, there is another dial, and I'm trying to show you guys. There you go right there. There's a viewfinder and there's a flash over here. There's the viewfinder exit. And then there's like um, a knob to adjust your settings and then a button to take the photo. And then just like on the video camera, you can pop this open, place a picture in here, and close it. And we will do that once I'm done reviewing everything. This is the first AG phone I've ever gotten, so this is really special. This is Z's phone. The case is a turquoise color, and there is another elastic on the back so your doll can hold it. And um, it looks like your standard smartphone, you know, it's 
got a little home button and it's got some speakers up here. So I think it's really cool. The back is solid. And then, ooh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> you pull it out like you guys saw. On the inside you can see black. It's made to look like the smartphone. And then you take one of the screens and you stick it in here and then you put this piece back in. So let's actually do that. Let's do this with one thing. So wait, oh. So here are the screens that come with the set. I don't remember how many are in here so it will be a surprise. You guys have probably seen this a lot because it's not new at all. In fact it's nearing one year old. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so there are three. So there's one for each device. This one has Z and her friend M. And on the back, there's a picture of popcorn and a bunch of laundry. And it's actually really cute. Popcorn looks like he's getting into some mischief. And then here is a video of, um, is that Z? Yep, of Z doing like a cartwheel in a backyard. And then on this side, there's a video of Kit and popcorn. Kit's on a green screen. So she could be making like a stop motion or a tutorial on how to make a stop motion or something. And then this last screen has um, American Girl videos, and then there's Z Crew, so maybe this is kind of like a YouTube parody. And then there is a weather app, 65 degrees and partly cloudy. What I wouldn't give for that kind of weather. It's appearing that as of this thing, it's Saturday. I wish it was Saturday too. <laughs> so let's put this in somewhere. So I'm going to put it on the weather app because, hi. Oh my god, this is going to be so cute. Okay, so then you put it in this way. And then you hear a little click. Oh, you guys, that's so cute. It's about a little weather app. I love it. I love this so much. All right, so let's try it with this. Let me see. So we've got the option of kit and the gymnastic cartwheel. I think I'm gonna do the cartwheel. Oh, that's so cool. Looks like you're filming Z in her backyard. So then our options for this are Z and M or popcorn in the laundry. I think I have to do popcorn in the laundry. It's too cute. Oh, that's so cute. And you can interchange them because they're all the same size. So you could put them in the phone, you could put them in here, you could put them in here. No matter what it is, you can interchange them. And I think that's really cool that they are all the same size. You also have a tripod, which is really cool. Obviously the tripod goes out like this. Oh my God, you can elongate it. So it stands taller. Oh, there's a click that you hear. Okay. Mine kind of is lopsided a little bit. Here it is. I don't know if it's supposed to be lopsided or not. I'm kind of bummed that it's more of a tabletop thing and not like a full-size tripod. But at the same time, I'm not surprised. I actually have a real one of these and it's right over there so I'm gonna get that in a second and then there's this attachment that you use to put your phone or your camcorder onto the tripod so 
yeah, there's no attachment. So what you do, like you have it stretch so that you can put your camcorder, for instance, oh, it needs to go in the other way. So that the holder is in there, out, not in there, like this. So then you can have your tripod, your camera holding your tripod, your camera holding your tripod, your tripod holding your camera, and there's a little knob on here, and there's a little hole, so I'm assuming you just pop it right on, and there you go. And you can also stick this in here if you want to use your phone to record. Or you could probably use it to stick your, the DSLR in there if you want. So the tripod can hold everything, which I find really cool. I like that it can hold everything. And then, of course, the last item is Z's backpack. And it's made out of a canvasy material. And here are the straps. The straps actually look like they can be adjusted, so that's kind of cool. And there's a little hook even, so you can hang it up. That's precious. So it's like a cobalt blue and a shade of peach and a shade of orange. Actually, this is more of a, well, it's still peach. So on here, there's a little play button. There's, what is that? The flash a flash and a little twinkle and a camera going off and then there's a Z with a period on the bottom and then there's velcro strips on either one of these that open up and it's lined with blue it feels like windbreaker material and there's a ton of room for you to store all your equipment and stuff in here. And I'm positive that everything from this set is going to fit in here. So actually, let's try it. Let's put everything in. So we'll put the phone in, the camera in, the camcorder in, the camera strap in. You gotta pull this off in order for it to have a chance of closing. Boom. The backpack is full of all Z's equipment and is ready to go. And it's actually got a little bit of weight to it. I'm, I don't know if an AG doll would be able to stand up right. <laughs> I'm gonna be entirely honest. Um. But it's really, really cool. And I'm also going to show you guys how this is identical to mine in two seconds. Pull that out and make sure I hear all the clicks. Okay. So here is the one that came with Z. Z's um, filming accessories. Oopsie. It feels like these things are a bit flimsy. Excuse me. So... I would definitely try to get them on sale if you could. And mine is over there. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's mine. So mine, it has an attachment that's specifically for a phone. And you might be wondering, why is it like all straight like this? Well, you go like this and it spreads out into a tripod thing. And you can also pull this out and elongate it. So mine is also a tabletop version. However, it's definitely in height more of a full-size tripod for the dolls. Here's the one that came for the dolls. So literally, <laughs> they're the same. <laughs> My attachment also stretches so that you can put something else in there so it, it's literally the same down to the foam that's right here and then there's foam right in there so I think it's really cool that 
um, my dolls have a miniature of something that I have. I wish that I had a full-size tripod as well to stick in the corner of like somebody's room. But I don't. Maybe AJ will make one someday. I don't know. So I think it's really cool. I'm really happy. <laughs> like, this is cool. Um, but anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me what the favorite thing that I got today was. For me, it was definitely these filming accessories. I find this really entertaining. And I'm excited to kind of set up all the little cameras in someone's room and, um, have them be kind of a videographer, if that's even a word. <laughs> so I am an, I am not happy about this whole thing, but just a quick snip of scissors and it should be fine. But something that's $28 should not be doing that right off the bat. So that's a little disappointing, but um, you know what? It's okay. I'll get over it. Yeah, that looks so much better already. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Guys, happy Valentine's! Valentine's Day. I'm dressed very festively for the occasion. You guys can't really see too much, but I'll show you my leggings. Anyway, I'm here with another opening video. We've got two packages here today. There's a wigless doll, and I think that should answer your question as to what it is. <laughs> um, so I actually got wigs from two places today. I got one from Exquisite Doll Designs, and I haven't ordered a wig from her in a long time, so I'm really excited. And I also ordered from Beautifully Custom, as usual. Um, I ordered two things from Beautifully Custom, and I don't know how they both fit into a package this size. Um, so I'm hoping that she didn't forget something, and I guess we're going to figure it out when we open it. But I'm going to open the EDD wig first, because I want to. She has a really pretty purple packaging. I just love Sherry. She's the sweetest. And for those of you who don't know, Sherry is the owner of Exquisite Doll Designs. So, yeah. Okay. I always make sure the bag's totally empty. So, as of 2018, this is how Sherry's wigs come. They come in a pink bag, like Beautifully Customs. And then there is a Ziploc bag, also like Beautifully Customs. My ring keeps wanting to fall off. And... And open the Ziploc baggie, you have the wig in the wig cap, I mean wig cap, wig hairnet, as you guys can see from the tag, it's black satin, I got this to replace my 41's wig, and I think this is going to be perfect. Oh, I love this. This is going to be perfect. So here it is. It's black and it's curly and it's precious. I love it. So I get to pick my part and I don't even know which part 41 has. I think she had a side part and even if she didn't, I'm going to give her one anyway. So that's who this bold child is. I took my 46s. 46. 49. No. Ashley, come on now. 41's wig off. So I'm going to replace it with this wig. So I'll do that in a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like on. Her old wig was so terrible I threw it away. 
that's how bad it was. So, yep. Now we're gonna get to the beautifully custom package. And I'm nervous because, oh, it does look like there are two wigs in here. Can I? They are both in here. How is that possible? So here's the beautifully custom package. It's in a pink bag, just like Sherry's. In fact, I think it might be the same. No, it's not the same, but it's, you know, same concept. So here is her card. You get a bow with each wig you buy. So since I bought two wigs, I got two bows. I have a tiny orange one and a yellow one, and I don't have an orange or a yellow bow, so that's exciting. I love how she includes little bows. It's the cutest thing ever. So here's the yellow one. So it's just a little clip. And then here is the orange one. It's super tiny. It operates more in a barrette way. And here's her card. So, I got two wigs. I'm going to do this one next. Ooh, this one looks really pretty. I'm going to do this one first. So, I got another beautiful blonde wig. And you guys are probably like, why did you get another beautiful blonde wig, Ashley? Well, hold on, guys. I have to take something off Lacey's mouth because I'm not about to get yelled at. She's got putty on her mouth, but it's okay. Because Lacey's wig, say hello, she's in a onesie. Because Lacey's wig, when I went to put it on her, like I, and I went to brush it out and all that, I kind of was noticing that the ends were really dry. And it was kind of in that specific way that you really can't fix it unless you cut the hair. And I really didn't want to do that. So my plan is I'm going to give Lacey this new wig that's the exact same as this one. And then I'm going to cut this one, put it on a custom, and sell said custom. So I just need to figure out what I'm going to do <laughs> with this wig. But until then, um, I'll probably just stick it in one of these bags with a hairnet and keep her all nice and cozy or keep the wig all nice and cozy until I'm ready to do something with it. Um, but this wig is gonna go on Lacey's head. So that's the explanation. I'm gonna put Lacey back over there. Um, so wait a minute, where is it? I was kind of bummed because she was having like a promotion where you got 10% off orders of $100 or more. And I paid like $97 and some change, so I just barely missed out. So here's the beautiful blonde packaging. And then comes in a Ziploc bag, and then it comes in another Ziploc bag, and then the wig is in there. So Ashlyn, who is the owner of Beautifully Custom, keeps the wigs so super oopsie, protected which is incredible in my opinion so here's another little card it says create something beautiful you can pause it and read it if you want Yeah, see, the ends on this are so much softer than the other wig, so I'm really glad that I did decide to get another one. So this is Lacey's new wig. Her permanent wig. Look at those curls. I love it. It's so pretty.
this is the other one that I got because it kind of caught my eye and I've been wanting to do a red haired custom but I can't find a red haired wig that is the color that I want so this one's called Amber Sunrise and this is a majestic wig which I've never had before so I think this is going to be fun but the coloring looked like it was going to end up being what I wanted so I'm nervous <laughs> let's open this up I mean, if I don't like it, I'll probably just resell it. I'm sure there's someone out there who would want one of these. Oh my goodness, the more layers I take off, the closer I get to seeing the coloring of this, and so far it's really pretty. So this is the same thing as before, create something beautiful. I plan to, thank you Ashlyn. Oh my god, where's the opening to this? <gasps> oh my god. Wow, this is incredible. Do you guys see this? <laughs> like, look at this. I could become a ginger. Yep, I'm gonna be that AG tuber who dicks, who messes around. I'm a ginger now, take a picture. Oh my goodness. It is so pretty. It has the prettiest blend of carrot and like a golden blonde and um like an orange. This is what I was kind of hoping for, except maybe a little darker, when I got my graceful wig a while back. This wig is going to be super insanely long on whoever I put this on. But holy crap, you guys. It does kind of fade into a lighter color when you get to the bottom. It's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are the ends dry? The ends are kind of feeling like they're broken. I paid 50 bucks for this wig. I don't want to see this. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm gonna move the scissors out of the way because I'm not having that as an issue too. So if you look at the curl at the bottom, you can see that there's a whole bunch of breakage and I don't know if you can see that some of them are very oddly shaped. And what that means is that's going to cause your wig to feel rough and dry. That's the same reason I got Lacey a new wig. That's exactly why I had to get Lacey a new, new wig. Um, and I got Lacey's wig used. I didn't get it straight from Beautifully Custom. Her original one. So I got one straight from Beautifully Custom that's brand new and it doesn't have that issue. Her ends are completely soft and I won't have that issue. This wig is not nearly as nice. That is such a disappointment. I've heard that, you know, be the custom is really bad customer service, but I've never had an issue. Um, I think from what I've seen, she has no refunds or returns, so that's an issue. I don't know if, if this is a manufacturing error or not, but I really would hate to cut this really pretty wig. Look how pretty it is. Like, let's try it on somebody. Let's put it on my... 41 for a second. This one doesn't have a big butt tag. So 
I feel comfortable in doing this. Wow. This is not obviously who I'm going to put this on permanently, but like, look at how long it is. It's Kanani long. <laughs> so I could see myself being okay with trimming it some. Because I don't know that I want to keep it this long. <laughs> goodness yeah so I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this wig it's really pretty I'm just bummed that some of the ends have the feeling of being really broken and really dry like that's not okay with me and I don't know if there's any way to fix it um I don't necessarily want to use heat on these wigs because I've heard that even though they say they're heat safe, they actually aren't heat safe and people have had issues with their wigs have melted and I'm not about to melt my wigs. Um, so assuming that I haven't fixed it by the time I upload this, definitely... Let me know if you guys have any ideas. Because I paid $50 for that single wig, which is a lot of money. Especially for a girl who is not working, doesn't have any way to support herself. And I just, by the way, this is like saved holiday money. In case you guys are wondering. So it's not like I'm spending my parents' money or anything, but... Oh my god. I just don't know what I'm going to do about that other wig. But I'm happy that I got Lacey a replacement wig, and I'm happy that I got Brandy a replacement wig, and... This is Brandy, by the way. And, um... I'm going to have to figure out how I want to part this. There we go. There we go. It needs some fixing, obviously. Let me see you. <gasps> My baby's back. <gasps> oh, I've missed you so much. Oh, I need my spray bottle. I need everything. But you guys, I fixed my 41, so I finally have her back. Say hello. Except for the fact that her hair's falling in her face. There you go. Say hello. Oh my god, that voice crack. <clears throat> I woke up with a bit of a sore throat this morning, so hoping that doesn't mean that I'm getting sick, because that would really suck. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That looks more authentic to 41. Except for the fact her hair is completely in her face. Um, wow. Congratulations. <laughs> You're failing at life. All right, so here she is. Um, it literally looks like her hair grew. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It looks like her hair grew out. And it's hilarious. I'm thinking I'm going to cut it back to like true form, true 61, 61, 41 form and have it be like here. And she can be back to normal with a new wig and it will make me very happy. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to keep her hair long. Oh, it does look pretty. It just doesn't look 41. I think it'll look nicer with it short. Um, oh my goodness. You look like you have something yucky on your face. I mean, I have to clean her off and everything. But 
this is making me really, really happy. So I'm gonna get this child situated and have everything well on that front. My Etsy order that got fixed should be shipping out soon because she finished it and um, that should be coming. And then outside of that, I don't have any plans for anything else right now. So. <laughs> I really, what I really want to do is get, don't you dare attack her, is <laughs> get my Marie Grace and try this on Marie Grace. Oopsie. See what I think and see what I want to do with this because I don't know that I'm happy with it. But I mean, that's the problem with doll wigs because there's no returns or exchanges and it's just like, what if you don't like it? What if it doesn't fit? What if it's broken? So yeah, like I said before, definitely comment down below and tell me what you think about this because I really don't know what I'm going to do. It's such a pretty wig. I love the style and the texture and all of that, but... <sighs> the ends. I also really need to see the <laughs> the color next to like 40, I mean 41, 61 because that's what I was kind of trying to replicate with this color. It's looking like it's not bright enough. Here, here. okay, hold on one second. I'm going to get 41, 61 and Marie Grace. Jesus Hello, I'm back with, this is Rosalie, and this is Scarlet in my hand, so, or in my arm, I'm going to put Scarlet over here for five seconds, can you sit, thank you, unfortunately Rosalie has to be demolished for two seconds, sorry Rosalie, okay. You're going to become someone new. Isn't that fun? <laughs> All right, let me see. Okay, so here she is wearing the wig. It's super, super messy. So I'm sorry for that. This is the way I would part it. I think she looks really nice. I really like it, actually. Um, so I'm a very big fan of Marie Grace with this wig. I think, from what I'm seeing, it's very close to 61's wig, but at the same time, it's lighter. Sit. <laughs> That's crazy. It's a couple shades lighter, and I thought that this was like the brightest red in the world, and next to this, it's looking like it's... <laughs> It's nothing, which is hilarious. I don't know that I want to keep this. Hold on, I'm going to get the other wig. <laughs> Alright, so I brought in the graceful wig. Mm. 
this is closest to 61s, without a doubt. It's a little darker, but it's closest. But this was my original attempt at having a redhead custom. But the wig was way too dark for what I wanted, and it is still way too dark for what I want. It's so pretty, though. This is the Graceful Wig in Paprika. I really wish it was lighter because it's that gorgeous. Yeah, they look like on, they're on completely different planets. Oh my god, this wig is a mess. <laughs> Save me. Look at that. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'll make up my mind. This top part is really soft. Like, I'll make up my mind. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hi guys, it's me, and today is February 23rd, and I'm here with my package from Mermaids and Dolls. I'm super duper excited. I'm ready to go. So let's get it open. Okay, I'm ready. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I'm ready. Oh, you guys. So this is to replace the order that was messed up last time. The intricacy is just incredible. This is the first piece. It is a black corset. You can literally see all the detail. I'm blown away right now. I'm blown away. This is incredible. And there is Velcro down the back. Here's what it looks like. You can kind of see the detail a little more. It's literally a black lace corset and this is the coolest thing ever. I'm obsessed. The straps are elastic. I can't. It's amazing. Courtney is an incredibly talented seamstress. And the piece that goes with it is this black little thong. So it's got black elastic on the waist and it has a front piece and a back piece. And it's very basic, but it goes with it. I intend to use this as a top. Um, but I wanted to have this in case I wanted to do like a risque photo shoot with it like this. So I got that. I can't wait to try this on a, oopsie, on a doll. I have someone in here that's naked. So I think I might as well try it on her. So I'll try it on her and we'll be back. So I have it on. Excuse the messy hair. This is what it looks like. I am blown away by the detail. I'm obsessed. <laughs> it's really great. It's kind of fitting. The bottoms are fitting like they're high-waisted and the top is fitting like crop top. Um, but it doesn't look like it's super duper cropped, which is good. I'm going to pull this down for a second. Yeah, so this is kind of where it's laying on the doll. So if I was to put regular pants on, there would be about this much of fabric visible which is fine I don't mind that especially since I'll probably pair it with like a skirt or something that's more high-waisted so it will probably only be a teeny sliver if anything I love it you guys Courtney's just incredible show you the show you the back I love it 
I love it so much. I totally recommend her. Definitely give her a follow. She's Mermaids and Dolls on Instagram and on Etsy. She did a wonderful job. She's such an intricate seamstress and I am obsessed. So I think this is the last order for February. Believe it or not. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Guys, it's me and I am here with what was not supposed to be on the end of this video, but it is. Oops. So it's February 28th. It's literally the tail end of February and I have not just one. I kind of had a little bit of a splurge, but it's okay. This first package is from So Cute Forever, and I haven't gotten something from them in a long time, so I'm excited about this. Oh, I'm just realizing the, the sticker from USPS says it's from retail. That's interesting. I've never seen something like that before on an Etsy um, label. I just got one thing from them. I haven't seen anything that I really love from them for a while until I saw these. So, so tag says, thank you for your order from So Cute Forever, and here's their Instagram. It's on really pretty cardstock. Look at that. Here's how they package their orders. It's really cute. It's just a little bundle with pink paper and they added some really pretty pale blue, like Tiffany blue actually, ribbon around it. So that's cute. I almost got two things, but I convinced myself that I would wait and see um, how I feel before I splurge. Cause she seems to carry the same things over and over for the most part. These, however, I've been looking for a pair of dark denim, ooh, fabric smells good, jean um, shorts for a very long time, and she had one that I really liked, and this is the first time in seven years that I finally found a pair of dark denim shorts that I really liked, so I bought them. I was like, Ashley, you've been searching for countless amounts of years. For a pair of shorts like these so I'm glad I got these so there's an elastic waist the elastic is on the back there's a little simple detailing it's a really pretty dark denim and there's all kinds of distressing everywhere and I love it I don't know if it's gonna fit high-waisted or not but I have this same pair in a lighter denim and I love them so I'm really glad that I got these um, the other thing that I was going to get was the same jeans. Basically, they're like the same fabric as the shorts, except they're jeans, and they have like distressing all across the top. Um, I have the same jeans. Like I have the light wash shorts. I have the light wash jeans, um, and I love them. They're everything. And I saw the dark pair, and I was like, I have to. And then I was like, wait a minute, Ashley, slow your roll. How often would you really use them? I may have to go back and buy them though because I really need them. So I got the shorts. And then I got the Little World. I have not gotten clothing from Elite Doll World ever, I don't think. So this is the first clothing order I've ever placed with EDW. And to me, that's kind of baffling. I kind of don't understand that because I've been looking at their items for a very long time. But I've never bought clothes from them. I bought jewelry. I bought shoes. Never bought clothes until now. So this is going to be exciting. At least to my knowledge, I may be forgetting something. I usually do. I feel like I've gotten clothes from them before. But I really don't remember what it is. Like, I'm having this weird deja vu kind of thing. So I got three items from 
her most recent release, or one of her most recent releases. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So here they are, they're in packaging. So this is one of her wrap tops. I've been admiring the wrap tops ever since she released them to begin with. So I got this one in Dusty Rose, thanks to American Girl Ashlyn. Looks like I've got a D. I'm going to keep it this time. So let's see, how does this work? It seems that this is a tube top. There's no Velcro. And then there's this piece. And then I think the way it works is I love no snag Velcro. <laughs> love that. It made me really happy, as you can tell by my little dance. Um, kind of just wrap it the way she always has it styled. I'm trying to recreate it. Is like this. And then this goes like across the doll's shoulders. So it's really pretty. And American Girl Ashlyn on Instagram. I want to be her friend. I'm not in a place to be friends with somebody right now. Well, make new friends, I should say. I can have my old friends, but I don't like bringing new people into a really sticky situation with my health, you know. I don't feel like it's fair. But anyway, um, I feel like we're going to be really good friends, though, whenever I do get around to talking to her, because we like a lot of the same things. Anyway, I'm very glad on Instagram. Her name's Natty. She paired this with the new American Girl, um, like, pink sequin shorts, and I immediately knew I needed it, too, so... Thanks, Maddie. I also got it in oopsie, in ivory. I'm trying to figure out how to open it because for some reason I'm having a problem. There we go. This feels really satisfying. I feel like I haven't opened anything in a while, but in reality it was only what a few weeks ago. I have such a distorted issue with time. I have an E. So this is literally the same scenario in, it's upside down, <laughs> the same kind of scenario in an off-white, and I'm really excited to pair this with the shorts that I just got. I think that's going to be really cute. This is something that I've also admired ever since she started releasing this in her shop. It's her white lace boat neck long sleeve shirt. She was pairing it with all of her stuff from her holiday collection. So this is like two months ago now. But I finally caught them in her shop and I had to get it because I've been wanting it for a long time. So we have a teal E. So we have two E's and a D. The further in to, oopsie, into the shop name, it's harder, like the letter gets rarer. So E's are most common, D's are uncommon, W's are uncommon, and then there's a heart, and that's really rare. Um, so that's how that works. And then I think when you pair them all together, I think she gives you a free gift, but I don't know if she still does that. So here it is. It's a really pretty white lace top. It smells good. Oh, that's the perfume I'm wearing. Never mind. <laughs> the shorts did smell good though. So it's a boat neck, white lace, long sleeve shirt. It's looking like it's going to be a little bit like a three quarter length sleeve rather than a long sleeve, and I'm okay with that. No snag Velcro, like a boss. Look at that tag. It's so cute. My hand is shaking. My hand's still shaking. There we go. That's as steady as I'm going to get it. Sorry, guys. I have a really bad hand tremor. It's a line. <sighs> anyway, so I got three shirts from EDW, and I got a pair of shorts from So Cute Forever, and I'm going to try them. 
on a doll and I'm trying to pair outfits up because I don't have this the seashell shorts or whatever they're called yet um, from AG. I plan to get them. I just don't own them yet. And then um, I don't know what I'm going to pair the lace shirt with. But, um, I will get back to you guys as soon as I have my wardrobe situation sorted out and I'll show you what they look like on dolls. Random, but I just remembered what I got from EDW. That was my first ever clothing piece and it was the, the pink off the shoulder sweater and um, I still love it. It's one of my favorite clothing pieces. So, thanks. So, I got the girls dressed in the stuff. So here is Lacey wearing the white wrap top and the shorts from So Cute Forever. I'm obsessed with them. She also has on Molly's necklace and these shoes that I got from Love Bug that I believe were in this opening video. They're so cute. So the sh Stop, Lacey. The, sh <laughs> the shorts go up to here, so they are high-waisted, but you can easily put the shirt over them for a regular look. I just, I love this outfit on her. She's incredible. She's slaying it. I'm obsessed. So, I definitely recommend both the shorts and wrap top. They're beautiful. Here's an overview of her look. I can't. It's just... It's amazing. I love it. So there's that. And here is Giselle wearing the lace boat neck top. I'm not super happy with this look. I'm going to have to find one that I really like. But this is what I decided on that looks okay. Um, so I put her in the top. The skirt is from So Cute Forever, and she's wearing these shoes from, I believe, the Mary Magenta outfit. If I'm wrong, I'll put a little thing. And uh, she's wearing earrings from AG. So, yes, I love this top. It's such a crisp white, and I didn't realize how crisp of a white it was until I was trying to pair things with it, because everything was too too off-white compared to this that I was trying to match it with. This was the closest I could get to something that looked like it would go well with it. Um, so I do like this top. I just need to find something to pair it with that's nice. And in case you were wondering, the skirt goes up to here. It's a normal length or height skirt. Um, I did not put the pink wrap top on anybody because um, I thought that the white wrap top displayed the way that it works okay enough. It slipped. It slipped just a little bit if I get like this. So here's how it fits. It's really pretty. I love it. It looks so good on her. And I'm looking forward to mixing and matching more things with this and making a really cool statement with it. <clears throat> so, yeah. so that is the end of the opening video for February. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.